Holy sh! Captain Alex, hell yeah! <laughs>
I've got some halibut, just cut them up into nice thick chunks. You can see how fat that bad boy was, okay? Normally, if you've seen in my other videos, I would spray the inside of it with some nonstick uh, Pam. So it would not stick, but this is a good fatty fish. You don't need to do that. Throw my chunks into the blender, the food processor. And we're just gonna give it a quick pulse about four to six times. After four, take a look, see what it looks like. Yeah, that's what we're looking for right there. Nice consistency, kind of looks like the ground beef a little bit. I'll take your blade out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it with my chunked up pieces. Two seasonings right here. Uh, I got the garlic salt and I got the uh, Old Bay blackened seasoning. No measurement, just season to taste. Okay, garlic salt. Hit a little bit with the EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. Let's put the lid on it. The reason I'm doing this on the Tupperware, I didn't want to put gloves on, I wanted to be lazy. I want to give it a nice little shake. As you can see, it mixed up pretty good. It's almost formed itself into some patties. Now we're gonna form some patties right now. Got them on some wax paper. Once I form them here, put them on the wax paper. They're going in the freezer for about 20 minutes just to stay a little bit firm. And then we're gonna put them on a hot cast iron skillet and then we're about to prep them and eat them. All right, guys, you can see that I'm, nothing's really sticking to my hands. So normally if you're dealing with a fish that's not as fatty, spraying some uh, nonstick spray on your gloves would be helpful. Just using my bare hands, form the patty. So for those of you that want to see it in action, get the end of it, just form it. And there you have it. You can kind of see in there, there's the mixture of the pulse and the chunk. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it alone. Put this bad boy on there. Parchment paper makes it super easy to come on and off. Again, this is going in the freezer for about 20 minutes, hot skillet right after, and then before we put on the skillet, we'll add a little bit more seasoning just so it'll blacken up and get that flavor we're looking for. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to make good use of our time for the next 20 minutes while we're waiting for them to firm up, and that's where we kind of put the magic all together. I've taken some good, fresh hamburger buns. See, there's a nice potato bun here. I've just buttered them up from side to side, crust to crust. To this, we're gonna add some garlic salt. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna kinda go side to side. Again, there is no measurement here. And then, like a little drizzle all the way across. That's it, we're gonna flip them upside down. There you have it. They're gonna go into the oven for about 400 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes. Then by the time we pull them up, they'll have a nice crust on the bottom. So now the magic's about to happen. Let's go ahead and cook up these burgers. Uh, what I have here is a nice flat cast iron griddle. You can see the smoke coming off. So that's when you wanna hear that, you know it's ready. So that way when you put your burgers on, it's gonna be nice and hot. Even though it's a fatty piece of meat, I'm still gonna put a little bit of butter down there. Now, as I mentioned, guys, if you like your burgers really flavorful or whatever, you just have more of the seasonings that you just had in. We're looking at about a minute and a half per side, and then we're perfect. To this side here, see how we can see a little bit of white? I am going to go ahead and add some more seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and spread it even. Maybe a little bit of garlic salt too. Just a little bit. Perfect. Right, it's been about 90 seconds, I'm about to flip them over. As you see, it's starting to turn white on the edges. 
what I did is I little did a little dab of butter uh, because I didn't have enough butter to put in there so it seeped through. I'm putting it on there so it'll melt and then as I flip it, it'll have that bottom butter layer that it needs to crust up that side as well. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about right there. That is not burnt, that is the blackened part of it. 90 seconds later, we'll be done. Should be a little medium rare in the middle, and then we'll put it all together. Moment is here. I'm super excited. If there was Flavor Vision, man, you guys would be stoked. Let me kind of show you what the final product looked like. Uh, nice, beautiful, blackened crust on there. Now the best thing is, let's put it together the way that you want it. So let me re-show you the condiment bar again. Snuck in some bacon. Again, some coleslaw, green onions, cilantro, avocado, got some mango salsa, got some toasted buns here, just butter and garlic salt, and we're about to have a good time. Oh, one more thing. I got some hash brown squares. So, I mean, we were messing around with this recipe and kind of gave us some ideas down the road. There's fish and chips, but this could have been uh, chips Burgers and chips, chips and burgers. So I'm gonna use that as a base. You'll check it out when we construct it all. Let's get to it. First thing, wanna give a shout out to my daughter and her new husband, Jonathan. Uh, they just got married here just not too long ago. And the first thing I wanna address is this nice customized mug right here. It says Sharifi. So it's kind of like a nice cool little ensemble to what we do. Thanks guys, good luck to the marriage. Wish you nothing but the best. With these cool mugs, here's how I constructed mine. Basically on this side here, I made myself a mango salsa coleslaw with the topped off with a little bit of uh, cilantro with a drizzle of yum yum sauce. To the left side, I've got a nice potato square hash brown, the halibut burger, the bacon, and avocado with a nice little drizzle of salt. Those boys are gonna be put together and get in my belly. Not nearly as creative. Uh, I just went ahead and went burger, bacon, a little bit of coleslaw, some avocado, and sriracha mayo and sriracha. I wanted to go a little minimal. I know I still got quite a bit on there, but I wanted to go more minimal without the hash brown and without the mango salsa just to get more of the fish flavor. All right, guys, I'm going in. Wow, super good, flavorful, juicy, um, almost has, got a, such a good flavor, almost like a steak texture. It's really good. Everything marries well with the whole burger. I don't think you could pair this wrong with anything. Ray, try it out. Tell me what you think. Well, juicy to say the least. It's dripping all over. That's pretty damn good. I've only been fortunate enough to have halibut a handful of times in my life and stoked to finally be able to have a halibut burger. Thank you a lot, Matt, for catching this. Can't wait to finish this off. Also want to give a nice big thank you to Alex again for inviting us out on your boat and giving us the opportunity to catch this fish. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please give this video a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And to that, we are going to cheers on out of here. Cheers, cheers guys. guys.